Hello and welcome to the pet room. I've had a crisis here. The blue bezel pet. So I had torture testing. <coughs> Stopped working. What I'm going to do, remember if you remember just before all this went down, I put four ram chips in that I've not been in before. You know what? This is the first step in trying to figure. I'm going to take them out. And I would like to think, <coughs> when I flip the switch, the pet comes back to life. I may. Oh, and it does. 3,171 by 3. There was a little wonkiness. <laughs> With, if you remember at one point, <coughs> excuse me, when I put these chips in, something didn't register. It did not. And I thought, hmm, interesting. So I put them back in and it did register. So I guess the thing to do, what I can do is try to do this. Shuffle this one over and aim this. Ooh, got a bad shadow there. Aim this at the video round chips. Ooh. Are we all zoomed in? We are. All right. Well. <coughs> Put on some reading glasses, so left or right, left or right, left or right. I think I'll go for the one. Yeah, yeah okay, I'll go for the one on the right. So that is a good round trip. And for those of you who have not been watching, these machines have <coughs> a magical way to test RAM chips. And that is the screen RAM. It is the same chip, they're socketed. And if you put <coughs> A um, put a regular RAM chip in the screen RAM socket, and if anything wrong with it, the screen RAM will show that there is something wrong. Right, well, on that one came up okay. So put it outside over here. Check the witness mark. Check the pins. Check everything. I must tell you, when I first came along, I found this machine squirrely. I thought, boy, I should really not do as much torture testing. I should not. <clears throat> All right, another end chip in. Turn it on. That comes up fine. So that's two. 
two more to go. And what's tempting at this moment, and I'm not sure I'll do it, but maybe I will. No, I won't. You know what? I was tempted to put these two back in. <coughs> two of the regular RAM places, but as with troubleshooting, don't do more than one thing at a time. Because then you're just never sure which of the two it was. And you're going to back up and do it again anyway. That one comes up okay. So three out of four are good. Which leaves us to the last. And you know, in order that, I mean, I'm not looking forward to any chip being bad. But I would like to think oh, it's not going in right. <clears throat> I would like to find the trouble and not have some weird intermittent something going on here. I would like to. Okay. Oop, I'm off the mark. It's running some chips. They just don't want to play ball. All right, please be bad. <coughs> mm -hmm. Well, it'll come up fine. That is pleasing, and yet disturbing. They are a mystery, because now the machine is working, but now, yes, there is trouble, and it is. What I suspected. Well, <clears throat> I'm going to take all of them out. Oh dear. That was an alarm. Don't be alarmed. I'm going to put this one back in that was in here. into the machine onto the exposed RAM chip sockets. Let's see if I can get this bent over here. And I think I can. All right, so there are the empty RAM chip sockets. I'm going to take the oxid, the machine is off, and I'm going to give it a spray. And hopefully that gets into where it needs to go. I did, remember, it's supposed to come with a little straw or tube, and it did come with one, but it was, um, Squirrely. The other thing they suggest, hello Penny, is to then work something into 
that's not good again. Keep it in. I'm just trying to work the work the magic in. Hopefully, get the good stuff in there. Boy, these are going in pretty well. <coughs> what they suggest? Oh, look at that! They all went in. What they suggest? <laughs> It's kind of working it like often with a volume control or something. It's good to work it. So I'll take these back out. Hello, Penny. And. <coughs> Corrosion, micro corrosion must be dealt with. All right, I'll get these out. Always leave them slipped over. <coughs> Good. I'll leave them slipped over, and then we'll let this rest a while, and we'll see what's what. So thanks for coming. Indeed. Hello, Penny. Thanks for coming to the pet room. And Penny is here. Bye for now. <laughs>